Today I'm gonna try something new and do that challenge where you can only use your fingers doing your makeup. So let's get started. I am gonna start with the color edition 24 hours. I don't know which color it is, but it's by Bourgeois in this beautiful green color. And I'm gonna use that as a base. I'm actually gonna to try to do a green smoky eye. Which sounds, sounds really stupid because if you're doing something new, which is doing your makeup with your fingers, it's probably better to just keep it safe, but I feel like I want to push my boundaries. Yes. Next, I'm applying a highlighter underneath the brows and I'm going to use this color. This is number 364, Matte by Inglot. I'm going to use my pinky for that. Because I feel like if I do it this way, it'll blend better because I don't have the precision of a brush to really place the highlighter concentrated on the spots I want it to. Okay, so far so good. First I'm going in with a transition color and this is by Sleek, the Garden of Eden palette and I'm gonna use this brown color to put in the crease. Now this is going to be quite hard I think because a fluffy brush really diffuses the color. And I'm going to use my finger which is kind of using like those fake artiste brushes. But I saw this girl on Instagram, a mini video, and she did her makeup with her finger so well. She got the inspiration from someone else, etc, etc. It looked really good. I feel like, you know, when you go on vacation, you brought all your makeup, you think you got everything. But then, you realize you forgot your brushes. And you decided to make the best of it. Well, that's kind of what this feels like. I'm just gonna move on to the all over lid color. For that, I'm using the Arabian Nights palette by Sleek. And I'm gonna use this color, maybe this one. I'm gonna start with this color, the deep green color. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. I actually like putting the lid color on with my finger. Because I feel like you can really pack the color on. And the lid is probably the only place where you really pack the color on. Then I am taking number 54 by Inglot. I'm gonna put that into the crease as well. Well, not into the crease, on top, I would say. I want the green to blend a little bit better into my crease, so I'm gonna use Mocha by Makeup Geek and apply that into the crease as well. Yeah, I think this looks better. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown color and use that into the crease as well. Just trying to use everything to make it all look a little bit more diffused and blended. I am, however, gonna put some black into the outer corners. Having long nails doesn't work with this at all. I don't think I'm even gonna use mascara because I think it's way too messy to apply it like that. And that's what the brush really is made for, right? I am gonna clean up the fallout underneath my eyes. I'm still not happy with the you know, transition. So I'm gonna use a little bit more of Mocha. Put that into the crease, see if that makes it a little bit better. Then I'm going to use Mocha for underneath or the lower lash line. Maybe mix a little bit of black in there. Of 
For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this color, also from the Storm palette by Sleep. Gonna make my eyebrows a little bit stronger with this darker color from the from an H&M palette. This is Smoky Eye. I'm using my nails. See if that works. Well, yeah, it kind of worked. Then I'm just going to apply my false eyelashes. I'm just gonna use my finger to push the lashes up. Oh. For the face, I'm using Max Face and Body and Max Studio Fix Fluid. Foundation makes all the difference in the world, I feel. It always starts with great skin, you know? I mean, a good complexion. And that is what foundation gives you. I'm gonna take the Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. And I like this one because of the thick consistency. It's easy to move it around, I think. Some on the nose as well, my forehead, upper lip. Now I'm gonna use some banana powder by Ben Nye to set the highlight. I'm just lightly, not really putting pressure on it. Blend it into the skin. Oh, it starts to be really good. And just set it all. And I'm gonna contour using Casino by NARS. Let's see how this goes. Then I'm going to highlight with this highlighter by Kiko. I'm gonna go over that highlight with Opal by Becca. Not too much. Just to make it pop a little bit better. Then for blush, I am using Sin by NARS. I thought about a cream blush, but I couldn't find one that would go with this look, so. Hopefully, you know what? I'm gonna set this part first with a just regular powder. That way I feel like the blush is gonna go on a lot better. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm gonna take that on my finger. Oh yeah, goes on a lot smoother. 
Then for lipstick, I'm gonna use Syrup and Jubilee. This is Syrup and this is Jubilee. My favorite nude lipstick by MAC. So I'm just gonna take that on the finger as well and just... Then I'm gonna go over that with Syrup. So that's it, there you have it. My makeup all done with only my fingers. I think I underestimated it a little bit. I thought it would be way easier. Especially the eye part was a little bit hard. But I love how it came out. I think I, it came out great. Even the eyebrows.